So Rochdale 13 with Alan Kilshaw after a narrow defeat in pre-season against Warrington Wolves. If you were offered that scoreline before the game, would you have took it? Yeah, well, <laughs> yeah, probably. Um, they had some, some really good players in there, um, but just the way the way the way the game went and just to get done on the on the on the bell like that always hurts. We've done it to a few teams, you know, ourselves, so we, we know what it's like. But yeah, generally very pleased. Look, we made a lot of changes second half. Had a lot of young lads on. Um, but the first half, you know, when we were strong and rotated, we handled some of those players well. You know, Das Clark was. Just, you know, on the field, Joe Westerman, they had a, you know, a lot of first grade, first full time players playing, and I thought we defended very well against them. And we went in, you know, leading at half time. So there's a lot of positives to take out of it. You know, the, the, the result's secondary. Yes, we would, we would want to win, and um, it hurts that we got beat at the end, but the result is secondary in this. And the conditions played a big part as well. Were you happy with the way you played in, in those conditions? Because the rain at times, it was unplayable. Yeah, I thought. Um, Second half, you know, it was a bit of a monsoon on it, and we were just stuck in our in our own thirty. We couldn't get out. We made errors, uh, and they they posted a couple of tries. They took advantage of that, and once we'd we'd, we'd kicked a bit deeper and, and got out of um, got out of our thirty, if you like, we, we we started to you know score some, some points and, and create some chances. And it's always difficult, like I said, when you're swapping people in, and our attack was a bit scratchy second half. But the lads who have been playing, you know, for the last two games, I think there's, there's again been a marginal improvement and. We'll take a lot of positives out of this pre-season as we go into um, round one next week. Yates and Palfrey looked very good in the halves. They, they, they looked good for the last two games that we played together with each other. Did you, did you feel that they, they were standout performers? Um, yeah, I'll have to look back on it. Obviously, they didn't play full 80s either of them. They played, you know, about 60. Um, I thought they did well. But it's growing the partnership, you know, with Morsey as well and, and Manili and. But Gaz Middlehurst was good as well early on, and you know that that spine that we speak about, the one six seven nine and thirteen. I thought they all contributed very well in the in the first half, and there were some other big performances. I thought you know Joe was good again. Uh, Danny Bridge was good. He cramped up. You know we didn't see much of him in the last twenty minutes, but um, he'll be good for the run as well. So yeah, there's a lot of positives, and 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 you know it would be unfair to single out you know uh, individuals when it, you know as a collective they, they, they work really well, especially the first forty minutes. <laughs> And going on to next week, the season kicks off. Are uh, you ready to go now? Do you feel that you've got the right preparation in and you're happy with your pre season? Yeah, we, I don't think pre season could have gone any better, you know, apart from you know, beating Salford and maybe Warrant today. But like we say in friendlies, the results secondary. I thought we've had a, we've had a good, smooth campaign. Um, hopefully, a few bumps and bruises in there, but nothing, nothing serious, nothing that's going to rule anyone out next week. Uh, you know, probably apart from the, the, the one suspension um, and a couple of the, the guys who are long term injured, it's, it's been a perfect preparation and we need to take advantage of that next week and, and go into this season um, all guns blazing, firing, yeah. And we mentioned in the build up, if you, you want to 17 was set in stone, is, is it a lot clearer now or have you got some time in the week now to think about it? Yeah, I think we're getting there. We'll, we'll have a chat as, as staff. Um, but yeah, I think we're close now, and uh, people have again played themselves in today. I uh, thought some of the younger lads did, did well, but um, you know they've got a bit to go, and some of them fringe players as well. So everyone will get opportunities throughout the year to to stake a claim. But you know there's there's people in the chair at the minute, and and, and they've got to make sure that they they stay consistent and perform week in week out. And just on a final note, the uh, news of Donald Smith's suspension broke in the week. Have you got anything to say about that? Oh, just you know, we're bitterly disappointed. Um, we're bit, bitterly disappointed with the outcome. I'm a little bit frustrated at some of the inconsistencies. Um, you know, I've seen a bloke attack one of my players last week with his hands by his side after the hooter and, and punch him three times in the head, and he's looking at a three to five games uh, where when John Oles tweeted after a game concussed. And he's going to be out for six games. So, um, look, it's not just me saying it, but, but there needs to be something done. There needs to be something done about this, um, and, and and hopefully it, it will be because um, you know it's tough on the on, on the player. The, the inconsistencies are tough, and you know it seems like we've been hurt a few times now. Casey missed the final, um, you know, and a couple of other things. So uh, I'm very disappointed w with the outcome, but you know we'll. Uh, we'll We'll have to cop it and go again. Cheers, Owen. Cheers, Sean.